This month marks the 10th anniversary of the release of the film Harold and Kumar Go to White Castle. So cool. And a guy by the name of Corey Davis took to his Twitter account, at MovieDude18, to fill the theater with fans and the entire cast. And Dish Nation was there to celebrate this cinematic milestone. Yeah, it's, it's important. <laughs> Hey, I'm Cal Penn. John Chow. Uh, we're here at the New Beverly Cinema for the 10th anniversary screening of Harold and Kumar Go to White Castle. More importantly, you're watching Dish Nation. Harold and Kumar. Oh, oh Kumar. Right. Harold and Kumar. Where the hell are they? We got everyone from the movie here, 14 cast members and filmmakers. Harold and Kumar. You do look familiar, I gotta say. Cal Penn had this to say about first meeting the creators of the film. I was doing a movie and the, the, one of the guys we were working with had a birthday party and they came up to me and, and I think it was Hurwitz who said, hey, you don't have an Indian accent. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I'm thinking to myself, no, but you're a <laughs> <laughs> Jose, I'm surprised you don't have like a Spanish, like broken English kind of thing going on. <laughs> really? Come on, it's 2014, people. Do you guys know Law Order SVU's Chris Maloney was in the movie? No, I had no idea. Yeah, he really? played Freak Show. Underneath oh, all that makeup, that was him. That was him? Yeah, he wow. told a story about how he was pitched the role. So my uh, agent calls me up and says, uh, I got an offer for you, which is rare. And the film, offer, fantastic. He goes, it's uh, three days in Toronto, perfect. I was doing SVU at the time. I was kind of burnt out, chasing perverts all day. <laughs> I said, uh, I said uh, it's, the role's going to require about four hours worth of prosthetic makeup. I was like, that's awesome. He said, I said, uh, what's the name of the character? He goes, the guy's name is Freak Show. <laughs> <laughs> I personally can't wait to celebrate the anniversary of Pineapple Express next. Oh, me too. <laughs> Huge thanks to the fans. We didn't think we'd be standing here 10 years from now celebrating the 10-year release. Um, movie tanked at the box office, but uh, fans found it on DVD, gave it to each other, gifted it to each other. I love them. <laughs> I'm lukewarm. You know what I tell my friends before they leave my bar? Subscribe to Dish Nation's YouTube channel. Actually, I tell them to pay the damn tab first. Then I tell them to subscribe to Dish Nation.